my mom swag waddle waddle <laughs> is like in full swing I have been slathering on my Palmer's coconut oil rub what <sighs> sorry I'm out of breath <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I skipped my 29 weeks update and I was gonna do it. I had all the intentions of doing it, but I don't know, I just got a little overwhelmed and we were on vacation. So I just kind of made a list every night that I was gonna do it. We just had so much going on from being on vacation, from going and seeing shows and just being out and doing all day. I was just exhausted every day and I just <laughs> couldn't get it in me to <laughs> sit down and record. I didn't, excuse me, I am all kinds of sinus allergies messed up over here. So just a quick recap of like 29 weeks. Um, like I said, I was on vacation. We were in Branson. We just had a lot going on because there's so much to do over there. I was noticing it was really getting harder walking around because I am so super uncomfortable. This baby is moving so much more now, just all of a sudden, out of the blue. He is like kicking and rolling and flipping and like all over the place all the time. Any movement he makes, like I feel all of it, but I am most uncomfortable when he is moving and I am walking. And when I say I'm walking, I'm meeting like my mom swag, like when I'm like going down the street or like whatever. And he's like flipping around. It gets all like tight. You know, I have complained that he sits so low. Well, I guess it's just a lot of pressure. It, I, I really can't explain it too well because I know this doesn't sound. It makes sense in my head. I don't know if it's really making sense to you guys. But, um,. When I'm moving around and he's moving around and it's just all tight and oh, it's very uncomfortable. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I've, been sl I've been slathering on my Palmer's stretch marks lotions and then different oils combating stretch marks because I've noticed two appear. And they're like right on my belly button. And I started to freak out about it. And then I was like, it's okay. It's okay. This is my third kid. <laughs> um, so I've been, because I've been so, it, the belly's been so itchy from growing that I'm just extra, like extra all day. I have some with me everywhere. I go literally. And anytime I'm itching, I'm rubbing on oils or lotion. House. That looks good, baby. Good job. I'm not doing it. Well, that's it. That's all I got for 29 weeks. My 30 weeks, I have like a list. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, I have a list going on over here. Because I really sat down to think about it besides being out of breath. We are now officially on our final 10-week countdown. And that makes me so excited and anxious and nervous and emotional about it. I'm trying not to think about it too hard because my last child came at 35 weeks and no joke we were actually in Branson the week before I delivered. Literally the day that we got back a week later he was there. So I was a little nervous being in Branson as far along as I am and all the walking but I was trying to do a lot less than what I usually do and really try to slow down, which is really quite difficult for me. And uh, walk slower and really try not hard not to pick up my five-year-old and hold my two-year-old the least amount of time that I can. I just pass him over to dad and really trying to chill out and that is very difficult for me. I've been feeling Braxton Hicks contractions and I guess that's just like I said from going and doing and just doing too much 
because I can't be still very well, which I'm a little bit worried about that. I, I'm just going to take that as a caution, like slow down, quit walking, stay off your feet, sit down, stop lifting, just stop doing too much, which is also very difficult because I'm sitting here like there's so much that I have got to do. We just got a brand new puppy. He's six weeks old and between cleaning the house and feeling like I need to be outside like bonding with him and like my other dogs as well so they don't feel left out and then making time for the kids and then having to cook dinner and lunch and breakfast and laundry and dishes and just nesting and trying to go through and find everything and get ready and prepared for this baby. <laughs> I'm just feeling so overwhelmed and exhausted that I've been having a couple anxiety attacks and I've had already one today and it's, it's rough. <sighs> excuse me. I'm exhausted. I'm sorry. Please excuse this. <clears throat> I've mentioned trying to slow down. My belly is always sore. Not, I, I guess just from constant growing. Textbooks say that he should be weighing in about three pounds. I'll find out on Thursday, I believe, because that's when my next appointment is and I'm having appointments every two weeks now. But I'm also, um, um, it's on my list of things to do today to go not only register at the hospital, but make my appointment for um, make my appointment for a 3D40 scan. I want to do that in the next four weeks at least. I think 34 weeks is really pushing it for me. So right now is like the perfect time I feel for myself <clears throat> to get one last good like little ultrasound to see him and to get pictures of him. I've also been calling around to different um, photographers to get ready to do my maternity pictures which I'm also very excited about but kind of disappointed because and I don't want to be traveling a lot now that I'm like 30 weeks pregnant. You know it's just my numbers are just going to keep going up. I'm even wondering about the holidays like I don't want to do a whole bunch of traveling for Thanksgiving or Chris, well, obviously I'm not going anywhere in December. No, I'm staying put. But I think if I do go somewhere in um, November, since November is like right here, knocking at our door, um, I guess I'll just be bringing my hospital bag and hoping there's a hospital nearby, somewhere on the interstate, off of the interstate. <laughs> um, haven't really decided if I really want to actually travel or not, just considering my history of uh, laboring quickly and going early. Like I said, textbooks say that he should be weighing in about three pounds and that he should be gaining a pound, uh, was it half a pound a week or a pound and a half a week? I think it was half a pound a week. I'll double check that and I'll add that if I mm, screwed up or anything. We're getting closer to finding a name. We haven't decided on one just yet, but time's running out and I plan on having a name within the next couple weeks for sure set, but I will not be sharing until I'll be revealing that um, with my birth announcement. I think I got everything on my list that I wanted to address for 30 weeks. My appointment is on Thursday. So I've got a few more days before that. I'm registering today. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover. <clears throat> but anyways, oh, I'm sorry this video is so long. I had a lot to say, a lot to put in it, a lot to catch up on, but um, that is it. I will also include a bump shot. Obviously this is not gonna work too well with this, but we can see how well it does. Here is, my now 30 weeks bump. Let's see, hold up. There you go. Here's your belly shot. And no, you can't see that, can you? Bump is definitely baby boy is definitely getting bigger. 
anyways that is uh, all that I got for you today <sighs> thank you guys so much for watching um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and comment down below any ideas or whatever else you want to see but I will see you guys next time stay well <laughs> bye